Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special episode for you. I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite resources to use when I travel, whether that's domestically or internationally. So the episode today is gonna to be about the company Viator. So right now I'm in Kanab, Utah. It's a beautiful place. I have a bunch of videos coming out for you about our experience here, so keep a lookout for those. But what we're gonna talk about is how to access and use the website Viator. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we navigate through the website to find the kind of tours that I'm talking about. The one we did in Kanab was the Stars and S'mores tour. So stay tuned for clips from that as well as a medieval dinner tour from Prague. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, today's episode is going to be about navigating through the website Viator. Viator is basically a landing page of all kinds of different excursions and tour guide groups and different things to do anywhere in the world. So they basically take every single tour guide or tour offered and they filter it through based on locations. So you can put in a place, date, search, and they're going to tell you all the different stuff available in that location. So since we're in Utah, I'll go ahead and just um, do this one here so you can see what's available to do in Utah. You can filter this down by city but it's actually a really helpful tool to use if you're gonna be in a large area and you have no idea what you really wanna do. So maybe you're planning a trip, you're deciding if you wanna go somewhere, you're just kinda of seeing what's out there. I would use this website long before I Google what fun thing is there to do in Utah or some location. This is way more effective and you get really good prices actually on the kind of stuff that you get to do. So here in Utah, this is all over the state, mind you. So we have you know monument valley tour um, moab so utah is a very very famous place for their their mountains and uh, the, the different regions and stuff so they have a lot of outside tours uh, off-roading different stuff like that so these are all the different kinds of trips that you could take while you're in this area so what we were talking about was the campfire tour so this is the one that we did so this one was awesome. They picked us up at eight o'clock at night from the visitor center. They drove us out to a really cool place that was an old Hollywood studio in the 1950s. And we literally ate marshmallows in the campfire, just like this photograph. So I have some video clips from our experience so you can get a better idea of what this actually looks like. But yes, this was definitely worth it. All you could eat, so cute. Look at they had, this is exactly the setup with all the candies and we were looking at the stars, playing games. It was so fun. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what that trip was like. All right, so when we pulled up for the tour, we saw that they had taken an old World War II vehicle and converted it into our transport car. It was very roomy. It had a ton of really comfortable seats that were cushioned and they all faced outward so you were able to view the entire time we were driving. The ride included a three mile drive through town. The city of Kanab is really cute, as you can see here in those pictures. When we started going off-roading, we were in pretty much private property and open land. So there was a lot of small homes that had their own uh, cattle and longhorn steer. So as you can see in the background, there's the beautiful red rocks of Utah. And there's a lot of wild animals running around, which is really, really cute. We really enjoyed the drive up, but it was a little dusty. So when we finally got to the private lot, there was a bunch of cattle that actually greeted us that was really, really cute. So here you see them, They right when our van pulled up, they just kept running up to us. I think they thought we might've had snacks for them. So they were really excited to see us and it was so cute. So uh, as you can see, the driver is actually trying to pull the truck back in to the gate of the ranch and the cows are kind of blocking it at first but there are some people on the ranch that are there that are eventually going to shoot them away so we can back up the truck and exit to go enjoy our s'mores so the land actually has some really interesting history it used to be an old movie studio for disney where they filmed the apple dumpling gang with don knotts back in 1950s they actually currently have used this site for such shows as Westworld on HBO and other major uh, Western flicks. 
So as you can see, there's this burned down house in the back that actually happened during the filming of the Apple Dumpling Gang. Apparently the crew was having a few too many drinks and accidentally caught the building on fire. So they actually had to finish filming the rest of the show in Hollywood. So here you see the s'more stand that I mentioned from the Viator website. These are the areas where we would cook our s'mores at. So they have it set up for a pretty large group, but because of uh, COVID, it's been pretty reduced. So they set up a fire. They were pretty much burning down the lo logs till it got to uh, a pace that we could uh, roast our marshmallows at. And they basically let it burn into the night till it was really dark. And then actually cashed through some sprinkles on the wood and it started making rainbow fire. So that's what you see here in these last images. Okay, next guys, we're going to take a look at something that's international. So on our last trip, we went to Prague. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what's to do in Prague. Now, I've been using Viator for several years, and I absolutely love it. Again, especially for international trips, because when you have no idea what you want to do, you get such a great idea, especially for places really far away where you really don't know or what to expect from these countries. So in Prague, they have probably some of the most interesting and unique excursions of a lot of places I've been in Europe. They're really open-minded and a lot of fun. So we saw we had boat tours, bike tours, a lot of castle tours. A lot of this stuff, you know, is pretty common, like castle tours and see the city kind of stuff. That's pretty common in most locations. But I wanted to show you some of the coolest stuff that we used through this website. So the first one, a little normal, but was really cool. So for $36, okay, we got a ride on this private boat and have an all-you-could-eat lunch riding up down this river canal in Prague for two hours. It was exactly as you could picture from these pictures. It was so beautiful. The food was excellent. I don't even think the photographs do it justice for this lunch cruise. They had someone playing the piano. It was so lovely. And again, $36 a person, all you could eat for two hours on a boat. I mean, that's a killer price. Okay, so that one was really neat. The second one. Okay, this one was the most unique, all right? All you could drink, beer, okay? So literally me and my friends sat in these bathtubs, just like these photographs that were filled with beer and they let you pour your own beer from this spout here for about an hour. So we looked exactly like these photographs. Me and my friends just chilling, pouring our own beer in a hot tub. You can ring a bell when you want someone to come and bring something for you, but they left you alone, you and your friends in a room just to drink your beer, chill. This bed back here is actually a heated bed, so if you didn't want to sit in the beer bath, you could chill on the bed. And then afterwards, when you were done, they gave you a 30-minute massage. So this one was really, really cool. If you're a beer drinker, I highly recommend it. The last one is the five course medieval dining experience. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to a medieval times, but this is way better than medieval times. Okay, we went down into this underground cave and watched this medieval kind of old school experience where they had women throwing fire and belly dancing. They had people sword fighting, you know, um, gypsy dancing, dancing with swords. And then again, this event was an all you could eat and drink, and the drinking included beer and wine. So this one was $50 a person. So that was an amazing price for dinner and a show. So with the website, all you really do is, you know, you type in the day, let's assume that we're gonna go next weekend. That would be so awesome. So we'll say two people are gonna go next weekend. So they're gonna check the availability and they have a dinner available at 7.45 PM, two people, $11.40. Pretty awesome price. So you book the tickets, you have them, you can get digital tickets when you show up, you just present them, they offer vegetarian plates. So I mean, this again is a, is a wonderful website to check out. So stick around because I have a bunch of video clips from this experience.
right, guys. Thanks for watching my episode. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It's in the red button below. It really just helps me continue to make awesome vlogs for you as well as my bartender series. So go ahead and check my channel out for those as well. Again, the adventure tour that we used for the Sm Stars and S'mores was the adventure tour company here in Kanab. In the description below, I've linked not only the Via Tour links, but the Medieval Dinner Tour and the Stars and S'mores Tour. So definitely keep a lookout for those as well as my website for my travel company, Chicas Bravas. So definitely take a look, explore our site, see what we have to offer for you, and keep a lookout for more awesome videos from Kanab and our road trip to Montana. Till next time, guys.